Hello, everyone. I'm going to read another Disney story, Lady and the Tramp. And this is called Barking Up the Right Tree. So I'm going to go off so you can see the pictures, but you're going to be able to hear my voice. And then at the end, I'll come back and chat with you. How's that? So pay close attention. I think you'll like it. Here we go. Barking Up the Right Tree. What a day, Tramp said gazing out the window into the garden. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's go outside and do something fun, he called to Lady. Lady jumped up from her cozy cushion and happily padded toward the doggy door. Why don't we play hide and seek, she suggested. That's a swell idea, said Tramp. Last one outside is it. A few minutes later, Tramp was busy counting. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come, he said. Tramp opened his eyes and quickly scanned the garden. He looked right, he looked left, he looked up and down. Finally, he saw them. Two dainty pale brown paws peeking out from beneath the flowers. So here's Tramp, here's Lady, he's looking for her. Gotcha, Tramp said playfully, pouncing paws first into the flowers. Meow. Hey, Tramp cried. The next thing he knew, a blur of soft brown and white fur was hurtling past him. Startled, he fell into a rose bush. <gasps> what was that? Lady gasped, jumping out from behind the doghouse where she had been hiding. So see, Lady's hiding behind the doghouse. So then Tramp sees some paws, but guess what? It's a kitten. Oh, my goodness. Tramp pointed to the thick trunk of the shady old elm tree. A fluffy brown and white kitten was racing straight up to the nearest branch. Oh, poor thing, Lady Cood. You must have scared her, Tramp. Scared her? Tramp frowned, shaking the thorns out of his tail. More like she scared me. Oh, Tramp, said Lady teasingly. Don't tell me a little kitten scared you. It's all right, she called up to the kitten. Tramp was only playing. We're sorry if you're frightened. Trust me, we'd never hurt you. It's perfectly safe to come back down. The kitten peered down from her branch, looking scared. Oh, won't you please come down, Lady urged her. But the kitten didn't move. So here's Lady, here's Tramp. Why do you th think the kitten didn't move? I think the kitten ran up the tree and got so high. I think the kitten is scared. What do you think? Aw, oh, shucks, let me talk to her, said Tramp, stretching up to rest his front paws against a tree. Here, kitty, he called. Come on down. I'm sorry, I know I can seem a little uh, big and scary, but really, we were just playing a game of hide and seek. At last, the kitten moved, but only to tiptoe further along the branch. Looks like she's happy up there, Tramp said, shrugging. Or stuck, Lady said. Oh, Tramp, we have to help her down. Tramp didn't have much interest in helping the kitten out of the tree, but he would do anything for Lady. And Lady had a plan, a plan that seemed like it just might work if he helped her. You stand here next to the tree and let me climb on your back, Lady told Tramp. Then maybe if I stretch as far as I can, I can reach that kitten and help her down. So do you think that'll work? Let's see. Awesome, here we go. As it so happened, at that very moment, Jack was strolling by the garden and decided to drop in. Here's Jack. Well, I must say, this is a grand sight. He exclaimed as he spotted Tramp and Lady. You certainly don't see something like this every day now, do you? Would this be a new trick, darling and Jim? Dear taught you? Oh, no, it's no trick, Lady told Jock. She explained that she and Tramp were trying to help the kitten down from the tree. Unfortunately, I can't get high enough, Lady said. 
I see that last, Jock replied. Maybe if you climbed up and stood on me, lady began. Say no more, Jock gallantly told her. As ever, my lady, I am at your service. Ah, so now we have three of them. But can they reach the kitten? A few minutes later, Trusty wandered over from his front yard, his front porch. Well, I do declare, he said, even more surprised than Doc had been. Miss Lady, what in the world are you and Doc doing up there? Lady explained the situation. I see, I see, Trusty said. Unfortunately, sighed Lady, we can't reach the kitten. But maybe if you helped us, Trusty. Why, Miss Lady, replied Trusty, what kind of gentleman would I be if I didn't oblige such a request? Was that a yes or a no? Tramp asked. I can't tell. I believe that would be an I, said Jock. All righty then, let's do this thing, Tramp said. Oh my gosh. We've got Tramp, we've got Lady, we've got Jock, and now we're going to have Trusty. So Trusty's at the bottom. Here's Tramp, here's Lady, here's Jock. Ah, oh, carefully, everyone climbed down. Then Tramp climbed onto Trusty's back and Lady and Jock climbed back into place. Can you reach the branch now, Jock? Lady called up to him. I said Jock, wagging his tail. Oh, how Trusty, so happy that he didn't notice a butterfly landing on his nose until it was too late. Do you think that butterfly is going to tickle his nose? I think that butterfly tickled his nose. Suddenly, Trusty's howl turned into a howling sneeze. Choo! Before the dogs knew it, their hard-fought tower had collapsed into a furry 12-legged pile. 12 legs, lady, lady counted again. Shouldn't there be 16 legs, she thought. Where's Jock, she asked. Up here, Lassie. Lady looked up, along with Tramp and Trusty, to see Jock dangling by his front paws from the branch. I don't suppose you could get back up here in a hurry, Jock called down as calmly as he could. I'm having a wee bit of trouble holding on. Uh, do you think they're going to be able to get him in time? Quickly, the dogs reformed their tower. At the bottom, Trusty kept an eye out for any butterflies, determined to hold his ground that time. At the top, Jock regained his footing on Lady's shoulders. Here, kitty, kitty, he said gently. Here, is something wrong? Lady asked when Jock suddenly stopped. Hi, Jock answered, looking up and down the branch. There is one wee problem, I'm afraid. The kitten was not on the branch anymore. In fact, the kitten wasn't even in the tree. Why, I do declare, Trusty exclaimed, looking down, if that little old kitten ain't a rubbing my back leg. I so she is, Jock said. You've got to be kidding me, Tramp groaned. Look at that kitten. I just love happy endings, don't you, Lady asked when everyone was back on the ground. Jock and Trusty agreed. Yeah, they're okay, I guess, Tramp said, as the kitten took a turn around his leg. But you know what I like even better? What, Lady asked, playing hide and seek. Hey, kitten, you're it. Oh, we had fun with all of our friends. Let's see if we can remember everyone's name. There's Lady, there's Tramp, here's a little kitten, there's Jock, and there's Trusty. Oh my goodness. I hope you enjoyed this story. I think it was cute, Lady and the Tramp, and they had a dilemma. There was a kitten stuck up in the tree, and they wondered, how will we do this? So they came up with a good conclusion, and then that little old kitten came down the tree, all on its own. Now they have a new friend, so they're going to play with them. So I hope you liked that story today. I thought it was adorable. Lady in the Tramp. I wonder if any of you have actually seen the movie. So these books that I've been reading to you, or these stories, I should say, are just five-minute classic stories from Disney. So I'm enjoying them. Next time, I'll read The Jungle Book. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Make today wonderful.